everyone! My name is Anastasia and today I want to share with you my story on how I have created the logo for my brand really fast and didn't spend the whole fortune on it. So, I was doing the mobile app and it was a really early stage of the development, it is just the uh, MVP, so I wasn't caring too much about the logo, I just wanted it to be clear, I wanted it to give the general message of, uh, of the brand. Um, but um, yeah, I had limited finances and I also um, had limited time uh, to perform the task because, well, I had to deliver it as soon as possible for my designer team to start working on the uh, user interface of the mobile app itself. So yeah, again, limited finances, limited timing and I wanted, uh, and still, of course, I wanted to have something nice, so I didn't want to do, you know, a bad job. So in this video, I want to share with you what were my choices that I've considered to go with, uh, why and how I picked the perfect team for the job, and uh, yeah, I will just go with you through the whole process, and uh, at the very end of this video, I will sum it all up, I will share with you my final logo, I will also tell you whether I was impressed whether I was happy with the result or not and of course I will tell you the general information about um, about the timeline that uh, that it took me to create the logo okay so let's dive in to the topic so as you can see on this uh, table that I present to you I've considered an agency so going to the professional agency and just outsourcing the job for them I was also considering um, discussing an idea with my friends, maybe inspire some of my friends and ask them for help. Um, then popular freelance websites. So, you know, all of those websites like freelancer.com, freelance hub, etc., etc. There are lots of them, they're quite popular. Uh, so I was also browsing through, through those websites and contacting the, de uh, the designers through them. And the last but not least, I have considered Fiverr. So Fiverr for me uh, was something new and that's why I, um, I put it as a separate, like, separate position over here and uh, do not combine it with the freelance website. I will later on explain you why exactly I've done that. Uh, in terms of the, um, uh, of the qualities that I was looking for, first of all, of course, timing. Timing was important, so I consider this one. Pricing, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, and quality. Those were three things I, I was focused on. Of course, um, in your case, when if you are starting your company, if you are looking for, for the designer team, um, for, for your brand, you should consider things that are the most important for you. Okay, so let's, uh, let's move on. First of all, agency. Let's discuss agency in terms of timing. And uh, one remark here, I will put, uh, I will put um, points on each of these uh, qualities. So uh, it will be the scale from one to five, where one is low and five is the best result. And again, everything that we are going to discuss right now is my personal experience based on the situation I was in, okay? So, agency. In terms of timing, I would go with, actually here, I would go with four. Why is that? Well, um, agencies uh, usually consist of the whole uh, teams of people, of designers in such case. And I used to work in the agency, I know how they operate, so they will do your project if you discuss the timing wheels with them of course they will de deliver the project in time and uh, because they can split the work within the several teams they can give you the result uh, faster than uh, comparing to for example one designer who is assigned to the project so in timing it's good but why four not five well, um, again, based on my experience working in, in uh, digital agencies, if we're not talking about huge companies, but just um, middle, let's say, middle-sized agency, they usually 
usually um, focus on bigger clients you know it's kind of natural so if for example uh, there were going there's going to be two customers that are going to um, buy the logo design from them and one is going to be for example the startup consisting of one or two people and the other one is going to be the huge brand well understandably they're going to uh, prioritize this huge brand over the small uh, the small company so for you, it's really important to, to remember that sometimes they may tell you that it's going to take a little bit longer than it should because they have other projects in line with higher priority. This is why I will go with four, which is safer, I think. In terms of pricing, well, uh, in terms of pricing, I will actually go with one. <laughs> uh, why is that? Well, you're hiring the professional team, which consists of several people again. So it's a project manager usually, it's the design, the chief, for example, the designer or designer team lead. Also the designer itself, sometimes it's also divided into the UX, UI, lots of stuff. So uh, basically you are going to pay not for one person, but for the whole team and their hours of work, which is why here, uh, I would rather go with with one because it's probably going to be the most expensive option of all of those ones. However, this compensates with the quality of their work. Well, if you take your time, go through the um, company's website, go through their portfolio, you, and you also spend time uh, on the discussions with them. You will analyze and tell them what you like, what you don't like. They usually, all the agencies usually have prepared marketing briefs that you need to fulfill in order for them to understand what you are looking for, in order for them to better understand your brand. So you will spend time on this, but at the end of the day, you will receive a probably quality, quality work. So yeah, it's four, one and five for, uh, for the agency. Now let's go to friends. What I mean here is uh, in my case, again, because I have this history working with uh, generally in the digital marketing, I have lots of friends uh, who are designers themselves or they have other friends who are designers, etc. So big hub of people and um, I had someone to go to and ask uh, for, for the help on one project. So in terms of timing, when it comes to asking your friends for, for the help on the project that is actually like the business project, I would go with one. Again, based on my personal experience. Of course, your friends uh, would want to help you and they will be all, uh, all on board with the task, but for them, it's going to be still kind of like side project. So they probably have their own projects in line. If they're working in some agencies or whatever, uh, they're going to prioritize that other work. I'm not saying that it's like in 100% of cases, but in general, I think that still you would need to um, to understand that your friend is going to perform the task when it's in the time suitable for them. And I believe that like for me, I wouldn't be able to, you know, push my friends, just do my task, prioritize it, make it the most, like the most uh, important project of yours. Well, I can't do that. They are kind enough to, you know, to agree to help me. So I will have to be patient. So in terms of timing, I would go with one. However, in terms of pricing, I would actually go with three. Uh, why three? Well, it's not going to be that, I believe, that uh, expensive as, for example, um, hiring uh, just a random person or an agency, but, um, but still, if you want your friends, again, to take you seriously, and they are doing their job, so you can't just go to them and ask them to do something for free because, well, again, they're doing their job. Um, but hopefully they may give you some discounts and the price is going to be better than on uh, general on the market. So here, middle, um, middle mark is three. In terms of quality of work, I will also go with three. Just because it's 
it's so hard to tell here. Well, you may have the friend who is just the junior and wants to do the side project, or you may have the friend who is like the senior designer and you are like best friends and they want to help you with this case. So of course, quality will be just five stars. So here, I will just go with three because, well, you will know it only once you agree with someone to, to work. So three here. When it comes to other websites like freelancer.com or freelance hub, etc., in terms of timing, I would go with three. Why is that? Well, um, I contacted several freelancers on such websites and I sent them all the details about my brand, I sent them the requirements for my logo, and generally, if the freelancer is good, they have the queue of work. So they will tell you, okay, uh, for example, if they want to work on your project, they will let you know when exactly they may start working on it. And in my case, when I was contacting them, all of the ones that I liked were already hired, working on several projects. And I understood that, well, it will take at least a few weeks for them to focus on my project. Okay, so that's why in terms of timing it's three, because of course you might get lucky and you might find the freelancer who is available right away. In terms of pricing, I would say it's four. Well, when I was looking for um, through, the, um, through them, they have the decent pricing, you might use some different uh, price filters to find a designer that suits your budget, basically. So you might have the designers who are just starting junior ones, but you also have the senior designers on such websites. So you may choose according to your needs, but also, of course, it's going to be less expensive than going, for example, to the agency, because here you are hiring, generally, you are hiring one person to perform the task and not the whole team. So you are paying for hours only of this one person and not for working hours of all the team. So comparing to, you know, to that option of, for example, an agency, here it's definitely four. In terms of quality, I would go with three. Um, of course, here you can also take your time, go through the uh, freelancer portfolio talk to them, understand if they get the feeling of your brand. Uh, you need to really like be um, proactive and communicate really well your expectations to the freelancer to make sure they do the job that you are asking for. And let's be realistic. If you want to create like the title of this video was how to create a logo chip. So if you want to create your logo, in like not a cost expense, like not an expensive way, you probably realize that you will not hire the senior designer with lots of years of experience. So junior and middle middle um, designer, they might probably don't have enough experience to ask all of the um, important questions. So it's your job to make sure they understand the task because, well, it's your brand and your logo at the very end of, of the day. So here, quality will be three, because you never know, and you need to be careful, and you need to spend a lot of time to make sure your designer is the best one for the job. Uh, well, and right now, let's go to Fiverr. In terms of timing, I would go with four here. And why is that? Well. Comparing to those popular websites, and I don't want to be general, of course, it might be the websites that is looking this, like the same as Fiverr. And I don't know, after I release this video in one month, there might be a website looking exactly like Fiverr. So please understand that. Uh, but in terms of Fiverr, what I like is they have super um, advanced and easy to use filters. So if a designer is actually working on some projects, they would just go, uh, they would just put this information in their profile and 
if you're looking for example for the designer really like to start working within for example 24 hours you can just use the filters and the search uh, search bar and filter only the designers that are available right now or only the designers they can for example who can perform your task even in 24 hours which i think is amazing and in my case when i was looking for the team that was so that was a relief because I didn't have to contact each of the designers I've done on other websites and ask if they can do, uh, start working on the task this week. I could just filter the proper results on Fiverr. So in this case, timing, from my experience, is four. Also, why, why it's four is that uh, when you're looking for the designer over there, or just any freelancer on Fiverr, you would have information on um, exactly like the package that you are buying. So for example, in terms of the logo, I had, for example, uh, first package, which is the less expensive, that will give me, for example, two uh, logo um, designs that will, and the first designs will be delivered within, for example, 24 hours or within two working days. Then I could get another package that will, for example, uh, consist of, again, the same, the same uh, amount of logos, but the first results will be delivered in a few hours after, after the booking. So it was really, you know, easy process to see. And if you're actually buying for the package where you expect to receive your design within 24 hours, there is no way they're going to deliver it later because then you can ask for the refund and go find another designer. So I like this feature a lot and this is why I'm going with four for timing. In terms of pricing, I'll go with five, four or five, something like that. Why? Because again, the same as on the other freelance websites, you might uh, find um, designer that is suitable for your needs, uh, for, um, for your finances. So here it's four or five uh, for, for pricing and for quality of work, the same as with uh, freelancers on other websites, I will go with three because, well, you never know the same situation. You need to check, you need to spend your time to make sure that this person is the best for the job. So here it's going to be three as well. Now let's calculate the price, uh, the overall points for each of the positions. So for agency, it's going to be three. For friends, it's going to be two. Websites, it's going to be three. And for Fiverr, it's going to be four. Well, actually three to four. So really close to, to other websites. So as we can see here, um, well, Generally speaking, um, in like agency, popular freelance websites, Fiverr, they have almost like the same results, but you need to uh, prioritize the qualities that you were looking for. So time, pricing and, uh, and quality of job. So when I'm like looking at this table, well, agency might have overall points of three, but you see that pricing is one, and this is something I uh, I couldn't do at this stage of my project. So for me, this is like generally no, not at this stage. Plus, in terms of agencies, it's my personal opinion, uh, when you're just a startup, when you just start building your brand and you have limited resources and everything, well, just outsourcing the whole work it might not be the best solution. When I was just starting, I didn't know, even I didn't know everything about my brand. I learned it through, like the whole journey told me what my brand is actually about, how to present it, how to communicate with my potential customers, with my audience. So I learned all of this stuff during the process. And when you just outsource, those things at the very beginning of your work it might be actually harmful for you and your brand and again this is my personal experience and just my opinion of course it might be absolutely different uh, for all of you guys 
Um, so yes, so just crossing down the agency, definitely no friends, not really. So I was just with freelance websites and Fiverr. And concluding um, this whole discussion, I will tell you that I've chosen Fiverr. It was something, again, new for me, but I liked, you know, this, um, the whole design of the app. I liked this feeling that I was sure that I would get the results in timing that was uh, announced on the description page of these designers. On other websites, you usually don't get that. Even if you uh, buy something, it might take them a little bit longer uh, to deliver your project, they may miss some deadlines. But in Fiverr, I like this case that they actually supposed to deliver it within these working hours that they uh, communicate. So this is why I, uh, I went with Fiverr. Now, was I satisfied? <laughs> yes, I was. And here I present you my, um, my logo, my final logo. Uh, I liked it, it actually um, suited my brand. It was something I was looking for and it was quite good. The quality was good, the, the designer team created as I, as I wanted, created the logo, um, but they also created the icon for my, the mobile app, so it was perfect. I will actually record in one week the video about um, the whole process on how I cooperated with those designers on Fiverr. I will just show in this video step by step our communication, all the screenshots, how long it took, everything. So if you're interested, um, this video is going to be available in one week or after the if you're watching after the release, I'll probably uh, put it in the description uh, description to this video. Yeah, um, so I was satisfied with, uh, with my final result. Overall, to be honest with you, the whole creation of the logo on Fiverr took me one month. A lot, but if you go to this video, you will learn why exactly it took us one month, because final concepts were delivered in actually, uh, first concepts were delivered in two days after the booking uh, of the job. So yeah, two days for first concept, but overall a month to deliver the final result. Okay, so um, yeah, if you have any questions, this is it from me, but if you have any questions, if you want to learn something extra about, about this whole process, I will be glad to help you with all of that. I have experience working, as I mentioned, with digital marketing for a long time. I was working in the agencies, startups, product companies, IT companies. So if there is anything I can help you with, I will be uh, really happy to do that.